guys, I'm so excited. Well, I'm not going to say you guys now because I'm just going to talk directly to Justin Bonomino because I recently learned, thanks to Marley Cadero, Cadera? Sorry, Marley. Marley, she just goes by Marley anyway, so if I say Marley, y'all know who I'm talking about. Marley, thanks to Marley, I found out, I didn't even know Justin Bonoma was interviewing for girlfriends. Oh my god, this is so exciting. So here's the thing. Um, Justin, I want to put my name in the running for becoming your girlfriend. Here are my offerings. Well, first of all, let me just say, I didn't really know that much about you. Um, I knew your name and I had seen the whole, you know, like, Twitter thing that Poker News or Poker Stars or some poker web news thing, Twitter or or uh, Instagram or something. I don't know, I'm not very good with social stuff. I saw that you had responded to Marley's video. I saw that it made her a little upset and then there was like, it seemed like some camps were happening, like who's on whose team. I don't really care. I don't get involved in stuff like that. But that's about as much as I know about you. Oh, not true. I actually knew that you were in the running to surpass Negranu for all-time caching. So I sort of know a little bit about you, but just to be, you know, upfront and, and you know, forthcoming, I haven't followed your career. I don't follow you on social media, and I just don't know that much about you. But, oh my god. I saw you pull off a bluff against Daniel in the PSCA. Is that what it was? PCSA? PSA? PC? Poker Stars Poker Poker Championship Poker Stars Championship. You know what I'm talking about? The 25,000? Or maybe it was the High Rollers. It was the High Rollers one. Okay. All this poker stuff is so confusing. I swear. I apologize for looking stupid. It's just that yeah, I'm stupid. So anyway, I saw you pull off that bluff and I was like, holy shit. Something moved inside me, you know? Like anyone who could bluff Negranu, the king of sniffing out bluffs. Well, I thought he was until, you know, that marriage proposal thing. So it's easier to bluff him than I thought, but still, it was amazing. And then, I swear this is not contrived, look at this. Look. We have almost the same color of hair. I think it's destiny. I really do. So, here's the thing. Uh, thanks to Marley, I also know that you're polyamorous. And I am not. I'm like a serial monogamist like extreme monogamy, like if I even get a sniff that my partner is sniffing around, I get real frustrated about it, you know what I'm saying? Extreme monogamy. But what I lack in polyamory, I make up for in personality or personalities, I guess you would say. Multiple personalities? <laughs> I can be anyone you want me to and sometimes I'll be people you don't want me to be. And that's like what you're looking for, right? A wide variety of women and different personalities. And you know, I change my hair color a lot, so it seems like I'm a different person. You know, I apply my personality in a paste. Ooh, 10 bonus points if you know what movie that came from. I'll give you a hint. It is the greatest movie of all time. And Jim Carrey starred in it. And Kate Winslet is the one who said it. I think I've, if you can't guess it now, then I can't help you. Marley implies that you might be looking for a toe licker. And while that's not really my thing, I'm not that into toe licking, I have been known to let people lick my toes for $3.99 per minute. But, just before you guys slut shame me, I was doing cam modeling with a very loving monogamous partner whose fantasy it was to be a porn star, which I think, or, 
it's like all guys fantasy or something but he didn't want to be a porn star you know he just had the fantasy of being watched online while getting paid to have sex and I have this quality about myself where I like to really please my partner and do what they want so yeah for a very short period of time I did webcam modeling with a partner oh hey maybe that qualifies me because of your loving support of sex workers that yeah that's in my favor I think all right well I don't know I guess if you think there's a chance for us you should reach out to me and let me know and I I don't know I don't think I could compete with Marley though so just want to throw my towel in the ring all right actually I'm just goofing you guys know there was no ill intent towards any of the parties mentioned in this video I'm just trying to you know well obviously I didn't get enough attention as a child that's why I'm trying to make a poker show a poker show a TV show about poker and it's in development which takes years so you know I how am I gonna get attention before then YouTube video obviously check me out guys subscribe and I'll teach you about the other side of poker most people don't talk about which is intuition and reading energy fields and all that woo woo hippy dippy bullshit that nobody believes in it's actually true and it might help you so come on board for the ride it's called poker chick okay just keep in mind I'm catering to a lot of audiences here on YouTube so if you only care about the poker look for the poker chick titles otherwise I do all sorts of other kinds of videos on YouTube and if you're bored someday I might help you out of a rut so you know subscribe thanks actually the truth is I have a much more serious uh, poker video coming up talking about relationships because it would be nice to actually have a poker boyfriend but I have a lot of uh, you know <laughs> I have a lot of requirements of a partner so this total video was in jest but check out the the next upcoming poker chick video titled relationships and it's just something that came up at the last game that we talked about so yeah check it out